Today's about uh, divulging who the citizen and young citizen of the award winners were. And uh, it being Gordon McKern and Sky, Trin Sky Kinder, uh, a couple of worthy recipients. Uh, we had uh, quite a capacity field for both, um, great candidates, very difficult selection criteria, uh, and we've come out with two top winners. Gordon's been a, an arts patron, uh, he's been a member of the community, long standing lender, member of the community for many, many years. He originally a commissioner on the City of Greater Bendigo for the amalgamation. Uh, he's been a director of Gordon uh, of McKern Industries. He's um, a member of the Art Gallery, the Aspire Foundation at the Cathedral and uh, many other positions including the Inventors Awards. Sky is a medical student, an up and coming professional student. Uh, she's had lots of attributes, she's part of the medical team, the board. Uh, she has a, uh, a junior uh, aspiring crew that she's promoting around Cairns here, all over the place. She's doing it, her internship and uh, she's a role model for young people. It's an honour. Um, I've always been very proud to be from Bendigo and so um, it's really quite special to know that Bendigo is proud of me as well. But I'm very passionate about rural health um, and one of my priorities for this year as the president of the Rural Health Club for the University of Melbourne is really going to be getting metropolitan health students out to rural areas to see what it's like to work in hospitals um, and other um, allied health practices in rural areas and also encouraging young people to, to go to university, pursue health degrees and, and come back to their own communities. Denied at Blair. Uh, I, I love Bendigo and it's just nice to be recognised in this way, so it's an honour. And it's also an honour, I might say, and a pleasure to be associated with their junior citizen, Skye. She's a very nice young girl and it's just nice to see the young people in Bendigo doing so well for themselves with such great careers ahead of them. What does this war mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, I, as I just said a second ago, I'm, I'm involved in a number of things in Bendigo and I've always loved to do them. And I don't need recognition at my age, uh, but nevertheless it doesn't do any harm because you never know, it may inspire others to do other things as well. Uh, there's lots and lots of volunteers in Bendigo and the more of them come forward every now and then, the more we can use them and work with them and it's great.